Next guest uh, has been called the most uh, accurate and least factual reporter working today. Uh, his latest book right here is entitled Generation of Swine, Tales of Shame and Degradation in the 80s. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Hunter Thompson. <clears throat> Nice to see you. How you doing? Come on, come on over. Thank you very much for uh, being here. How you been? Oh, thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah. yeah. Where Where do you make uh, your home these days? The same place I've been making it for the uh, last twenty years. Twenty years? Uh, Where is that? Woody Creek. I invited you out there right, the last time you were, uh, we were talking. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you were born in that area? No, I'm from uh, Kentucky. Kentucky originally. Where are you from? Indiana, uh, Indiana originally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and what is your life like there? Is Colorado? You said peaceful. You're up in the mountains. Eight thousand feet. Yeah. yeah. And what kind of a day do you have? So pick any day, for example. Do you spend? You get up early and write and stuff, or what? Yeah, I write early in the morning. I work all day long. Yeah. And uh, then I cut the grass, you know, and I cut chop wood. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you do for recreation there? Yeah, that's what I do for recreation. Yeah. I work. Do you ever hike up into the mountains? Oh yeah, I do that for. I I, I, I like to kill. <laughs> and when you say kill, you're talking about what neighbors? What? Uh, <laughs> We don't want to talk about shooting people, do we? No, but you're, you're teasing when you say you like to kill, right? Uh, yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not teasing. I, I used to like to kill. When I realized that I was uh, hunting uh, in order to hunter? kill. You like hunting? I quit. Well, I did. I, I quit. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I know that when you but take... I, I quit because I uh, realized I was not hunting for meat. I was hunting because I like to kill. Yeah. Have you talked no, to anyone about this stuff? Uh... <laughs> but I, I know... I don't it. have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Uh, I, I, th I found it time for a uh, I found it interesting that in traveling here to be on the show, you brought with you on the airplane uh, a rifle. Is that correct? Was it yeah, a rifle? I was going to show it to you, but uh, they wouldn't let me do it. Yeah. But I, I found it interesting that you could travel with a weapon on an airplane. David, I've told you repeatedly: if you're innocent, you can do anything. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I am innocent. And why shouldn't I travel? Yeah, but explain the procedure to me, because... It's, it's nothing. All you do, all you do is sign the red tag. I wish I'd brought the damn gun. Uh-huh. I mean, uh, they prevailed on me not to bring it. It's a right. beautiful Mark V Weatherby 200 Magnum. A collector's item? No. Hey, it's a working uh, piece of... Uh, state-of-the-art killing machine. That's killing machine, is. yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, we don't really care. Those guns, guns are killing machines. Yeah. I don't happen to use them like that, but... Uh, it's, it's comforting to know that you can All right. kill. All right. Enough of that. Um, now, let's talk about the um, who, who we think may be the, the new president of the United States. David, I heard you earlier, and you think it's going to be, uh, or was George Bush? Well, it's, yeah. It's, 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 yeah, before, but, you know, it's, uh, it, it went right down to the wires, and they're still having trouble counting the votes, and so... But let's, if it was George Bush, how would you feel are we about admitting, that? Are we, are we admitting on the air that... But let's just say if it was, if it is now George Bush, how would you feel about that? Well, by the time this thing airs, I won't be in the country. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have, uh, uh, for two years, I, uh, beat him like, uh, my friend Sam Luckett said, a red-headed stepchild. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I was right. I think uh, Bush is a, uh, not Bush so much. Bush is hard to get your hands on. Well, he's not really there. And uh, I beat him and I... Uh, you I said, you I said things about him. You actually said threatening things about him, didn't threatening? you? Threatening? Well, the Secret Service came and told me that I didn't really... Uh, no, no, let's go back to that. The Secret Service came to you and said what? Well, I was in Milwaukee. Uh, and I, I, You know how my religious spent. We've, we've discussed this before. I have a kind of a you know, morality, religious, mm -hmm. uh, neo, neo religious, mm -hmm. like the talk, uh, neo uh, urban. <clears throat> and uh, I, I was speaking at a Catholic university in Milwaukee, and I, uh, Mark that, and I said to these gentlemen uh, who were after me for, uh, uh, they wanted to talk about politics and uh, guilt. Catholics are very much into guilt. Are you Catholic? No. But I'm certainly well, into guilt. If, it, <laughs> if it'll help the story, I'm but into the, guilt. I'm not. I'm not. That's, uh, the, whole, that's the whole point. Yeah. And I'm into justice. And I, uh, I said to these... Uh, what are you doing? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of that. Uh, I said to them, if you people want to talk about politics and guilt, let me tell you something. We'll get a short cut right here. Right. 
that uh, George Bush is the guiltiest man in politics. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we have our subjects crossed. Yeah. And uh, it's a Jesuit. I said, you know, I like Jesuits because they're uh, smart and mean. Mm -hmm. Smart and mean. You like the well, Jesuits <coughs> characterized yeah. as being well, smart I, and I like, mean? I like to talk. I like to argue with Jesuits. Mm -hmm. I see. And, uh, excuse me, I have Jesuit uh, up here? Yeah, we get a, get a large contingent. Well, we should bring them down. I like that. Right There's nothing better than talking to a good, mean Jesuit. Okay. Uh, uh, anyway, wait a minute, wait a minute, let me finish the story. Yeah, get to, this is the story about how the Secret Service... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is a real story. Oh, yeah. And, uh, oh, you don't hear too many of those, do no. you? No. Well, I had a pretty good one earlier about a raccoon that no one seemed to enjoy, but that's... Raccoon? Yeah. A raccoon is a weird animal. Oh, tell me about it. Have you ever, have you ever had one? Wait a minute, yeah. We'll what get to that in mean? a minute. I'm looking... You're making life. me a little jumpy, Hunter. It's good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. You're coming me down. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have to we have to move along here. Now, okay. so, so finish the story. We're doing okay. Right. Are we doing all right? Yeah, okay. we're doing okay. All right. And uh, I said to him, "All right, uh, let me tell you something. It, 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 it's a theorem, as it were. <laughs> and uh, uh, if you people take your Catholicism, your religion seriously, you would. Uh, if George Bush is the guiltiest man in politics." Mm -hmm. You would have to come up here on the stage with me and stomp him to death. I see. Uh, well, if that's true, uh, wouldn't you say that? I mean, if, if, if the man is totally guilty, and if they believe that, mm -hmm. this is a very uh, heavy, you know, Catholic, so now, high Catholic school. The Secret Service... And I took, but I took a vote. Took and a vote. Well, you voted one, on Two to one. <laughs> two to one? Two to one. <laughs> two to one to, to join me and stomp him to death. The vice president yeah, to death? Yeah, yeah. On stage? On stage, yeah. No, okay. see, I was, no. We can take a vote here. No, we don't want to take any <laughs> votes. But uh, so, uh, what did the, get me now. What did the Secret it. Service say? They well, came to you. The Milwaukee uh, Journal the next day ran uh, a front page headline saying that the crazed Gonzo author uh, advocates stomping pre uh, Vice President yeah. to death. Uh -huh. I did not. I didn't do that. Uh -huh. I just said, if you believe, you know, if you, you want to talk about guilt, you want to talk about religion, I'm just a hillbilly. I don't know too much about right. uh, religion, but we share one thing in common. Mm -hmm. Which is a sense of justice. I see. And the, but the, the Secret Service then kind no, of. No, they came to. Well, I was yeah. going to Washington uh, to cover the Iran Contra hearings. And I kept hearing, I kept getting calls from the Secret Service. Right. And I finally returned one, and I said, well, hey, is this gonna, whatever this, whatever problem you have, is it going to affect my press credentials in Washington? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think wanting to stomp the vice president to death. I, 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 no, I, would, never, I would never, I would never stomp the vice president to death. <laughs> I need these people. Uh huh. Okay. We, uh, you know, I'm telling. You, we're 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 out of time. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. We're, we want to want to hear more about this killing machine. Uh, um, uh, no, I know. But we we have to. The gentleman, the musician, is. Someday you'll have enough time. Oh, we I have know. a serious. Thought. I know. I, I think it's my fault. We wasted a lot of time, and it's, I apologize. I was, late. To you. I was late. You were a little late, sure. Uh, anyway, well, the, the book is uh, Generation of Swine. Uh, Hunter S. Thompson. I hope it does real well for you. Nice to see you again. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for being here. We'll be right back.